All right, so for this shape right here that I made earlier, what I have is this. Preview mode on, it looks like this. With preview mode on to flat, I get this. In flat mode, you can really see uh, the changes of a mask. So if I go into masking mode and use this new feature called mask by ambient occlusion and mess around with the settings a little bit, like the scan distance just slightly off and then the ambient occlusion intensity up all the way, what I want to do is paint dark to light. So what I'm going to do is darken this object up by going in and filling it with a, a darker gray, almost, ma almost mimicking uh, the same gray. So I'm going to just use a little bit higher just so you can see it a little bit better. And now I'll mask by ambient occlusion. Pretty sweet, no doubt, right? Okay, uh, what I can do here is go in and choose some white. Take about 12%, somewhere around there, and 21% fill object. Start brightening that object up. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, if I clear it out, here's my actual object with its kind of creases uh, baked within it. Now, there's other ways to do that. There's a uh, mask by cavity, which will mask off everything that has a little tiny crack and crevice in there. Uh, the problem with mask by cavity is it doesn't do broad based cavities. So, this is not considered a cavity. That's considered a change in form. So, it won't get that much detail. Uh, the best way to do this is just keep playing around with the ambient occlusion intensity and the scan distance. And the, the aperture, um, really, if, for a sphere, I would definitely keep that all the way up. The more the intensity value, the harder the shadows are. Okay. Now this would be pretty good, except for the, see these these right here are a little too harsh. So if I wanted to, I could blur those out just a little bit. And then fill it again. There we go. So if you want to bake some ambient occlusion in, that is a good, fast way to do it. Or just put some details in the cracks and crevices of your um, non-organic models. That's a good way to do it. All right. So on with the next masking trick.